Welcome IGCSE students. Today I thought instead of doing the exercise from the book that I would uh, give you a past exam question which uh, uses, uh, requires some of the same knowledge that you would have been needing for that exercise. Uh, but I find that it's probably more useful to us to practice what it will look like in an exam. So we've got a graph here of y equals a plus bx. And we know that the graph passes through these coordinates here of 0, 4 and 1, 1. And we need to find the value of a and b. Okay, well the first thing that we know is um, we've got this point here. So we know that we have a um, negative x squared graph. It's something negative x squared which gives you that shape. And since that the uh, vertex is along the y-axis, uh, you know that you're simply lifting it up the y-axis by a. So I know that a is going to be equal to 4 because I've just lifted the whole graph up by 4. And at this point, I can chuck in some of these coordinates that I've got to find out what b is equal to. Um, so, or may, maybe even this one here. So if I chuck in 1, 1, I'm going to go 1 for my y value equals a plus b into 1 squared. So what do we get here? 1 is equal to... 4 plus b. And therefore, b is equal to minus 3. Now we can do a check on that by chucking it in and looking at some of our values here. So if we chuck it into this one here, we would get uh, 0. Uh, sorry, uh, 4 is our y value, is equal to uh, 4 plus minus 3 into our x value, 0 squared. So that seems to work. I think the value of a, um, b is minus 3. Okay, <clears throat> now we're going to write the equation of the tangent. This is the next question here at 0, 4. Now, a tangent touches at one point. So this would be the tangent. You know that the gradient at uh, the minimum point there, sorry, the maximum point is uh, 0. So the tangent is just simply going to be y is equal to 4. The equation of the tangent at x equals minus 1 is y is equal to 6x plus 7 and we've got to find the equation at positive 1. Okay, so we try to find the equation of the graph at this point, of the tangent at this point. Okay, now there's a couple of things you could do at this point. The first of all is you could differentiate the, the uh, equation, so we could go dy dx and we take our equation, remember we found our equation was y is equal to 4 uh, minus 3x squared. And so if we did that, um, our equation, our dy dx, or our gradient function, would be negative 6x. And so the gradient at, uh, posit uh, at minus 1 is equal to, sorry, that should have been 6x to the power of 1. Um, I'll let me rub that out. 6x to the power of 1. Sorry, I'm a bit tired today. Okay, at minus 1, it's going to be minus 6 times minus 1, which is equal to 6. And that's how we get this here. <coughs> now, um, then I could say, uh, I, I could now chuck in the gradient at uh, positive 1. So what is it at positive 1? The gradient at positive 1 is therefore going to be minus 6 times positive 1, which is equal to minus 6. Okay, now, and then I could go and find what plus c is. But... I hope you can see that there is a line of symmetry running down the x, uh, the, the y-axis here. So it should just simply be the opposite, minus 6x plus 
minus 7. So that tangent is going to still cross at 7, but it's just got a negative gradient now. Okay, now moving on to the next one, we've got some uh, data there, and we've got to put in our values for the missing uh, ones here. So if we pop in a minus 1 here, on the bottom of that denominator, we're going to have minus minus 1, which is positive 1. So we'll have 1 plus 5 over 4. So 1 plus 5 over 4, which is 2.25, I think. And then if we chuck in a 0 there, we'll have 1 plus 5 thirds, which is 2.6 recurring. And if we chuck in a 1 there, that will be 5 over 2. Um, so 5 over 2 is 2 and a half, so we'll end up with 3 and a half when we add that 1 on. So I think that's what we should have. Now, we are going to draw this graph. So this will be a bit hard for me with on the computer, but I'll do my best. So we should have something here. And then we've got at minus 1.5, we've got 2.11. Oh, sorry, I plotted that in the wrong place. It's minus 2, positive 2. Let's get rid of that. There, okay. Uh, then we've got uh, minus 1.5, 2.11. So it looks like each of these is worth 1, so I think it's about there. Then we've got a minus 1 is at 2.25, so that appears to be about there. And then we've got a minus 0.5, and that appears to be minus 2.43. So I think it's about there. And then we've got a 0 is at 2.6 recurring. So 5, 6, sort of up here somewhere. And then we have uh, 0 0.5, we're at 3, so that's just going to be up here. And then at 1, we've got 3.5, which is, where are we, sort of here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, sort of here, I think. 1, 2, 3, yeah, I think that's right. And the last one is 1 1.5 is 4.33, which is approximately here. And so if we connect the, these dots here with a, a smooth curve, Should look something like that okay yours will be a much neater it's easier to do it on paper now we're going to write down the points where the graphs intersect so they intersect about here and if i just go straight down it sort of looks to me approximately again mine's not going to be perfect minus uh, 0 0.1 2 3 4 minus 0 0.5 i think and then the other one it's about here, which looks to be minus uh, positive 0 0.6. Okay, I don't know how accurate I've been here, but about that. Um, now, the answers to part C are two solutions of a cubic equation in terms of x. And we've got to find the equation. Now, how do we do this? Well, we've got two graphs here. One of them is equal to... Uh, what did we say? It was y is equal to 4 minus 3x squared. That's the, this is this one. And then the other one that we've got was, um, looked like this, and it was y is equal to 1 plus 5 over 3 minus x. Now, what we do at this point is we make those two things equal, because that will be the point where they meet. So we've got 4 minus 3x squared equals 1 plus 5 over 3 minus x. And we're going to get everything across to one side. So I'm going to move the 1 across as my first move by subtracting it from both sides. And that will give me this. And then I'm going to multiply both sides by that 3 minus x. So I'll have 3 minus x into 3 minus 3x squared is equal to 5. Now let's do those brackets out. 9 O outers minus 9x squared, I for inners minus 3x, uh, lasts minus 3 times minus 3x squared is positive 3x cubed equals 5. Now we bring everything across to the left hand side, so I get 3x squared minus 9x squared minus 3x, and then when I pull that 5 across, my 9 is going to become positive 4 equals 0. 
and that would be uh, that equation sorted. Well, I hope this makes sense. Uh, if you're having any trouble, uh, I did really go quickly, so if you have any trouble and you don't understand some of the steps, please let me know. I'm really happy to help.